Biophilia is a part of art department in Aalto University. It's not only the lab, but it's also a program that links uh, artistic and scientific thought and research. I've been approached to try and support uh, Alto in setting up a biological lab and create, in a sense, the first really fully functioning a biological lab within an art department. So what we see here, which is quite amazing, is something that you don't see anywhere else in the world. In the last two decades or so, biology became more and more like engineering, and life became more and more of a raw material to be manipulated by humans, which means that it opened up a new palette of artistic possibilities, for better or for worse. So what we started to see is more and more artists working with the tools of modern biology as a medium for artistic expression. What we can do here is basically uh, study cells, bacteria, molds, fungi, uh, connected to microbiology, DNA. The users of this lab are artists but we undergo the same ethical and technical roles that scientific lab. A lot of um, activities of biophilia are based here in, in Otaniemi, but we also collaborate with other centers, for example, with uh, biological research stations in Finland uh, that are specialized in Arctic biology and forestry um, biology. And uh, we also have bees. So we are here at the Hexahive village in Ottoniemi at the campus garden. And this is an installation of um, experimental beehives. And the boxes can be used for beehives, but also for humans to sit on. So it has a double function. And today we are having a sound picnic at the Hexahive village. So we put the microphone inside of one of the beehives and we are taking the sound as a basis for our sound event. And the entire project is around honeybees in urban environments. So we're exploring different aspects of bees in urban spaces. Uh, the research I'm doing here is a continuation of an ongoing project of mine using the common fruit fly, uh, Drosophila melanogaster, and about how we can begin to change characteristics of species and move towards more species. Uh, my project is specifically breeding them for the, uh, to survive the theoretical environment of Titan, the largest moon of Saturn. But I'm interested in how, at various points in scientific processes, how you can begin to extract the, the ambiguity and the metaphor and the poetry which are necessary for art. The, the, I'm interested in using Drosophila because they're a, a, a metaphor for the human being. They're used in bioscience to inform us about the human body. And I'm interested in Titan because it's the most the place which is most like Earth that we know about, so it's in many ways a, a metaphor for Earth. So I'm just interested in putting these metaphors together. But Titan is just too extreme for a start, there's no oxygen. But this is the luxury of doing art instead of science. You know, this is how I'm following a scientific process, but I'm purely working in a very conceptual and metaphorical sense artistically. <laughs> The impact, I think, the most important impact is to try and make all of us think about what we choose to do to life and how we want to do it and not leave those decisions only to engineers and scientists and uh, governments. It's not the production lab that you can come with your research or your project and say that please do that for me. We, we teach people to use it, uh, the laboratory but uh, you really have to mm, get your own hands wet in the lab.